Okay, here's the uh, all 3D printed Defender robot project. It's a wind-up robot that moves, has moving feet, moving arms, moving guns, an opposable head. <clears throat> this version, as you can see, is all 3D printed. A little bit of glue to hold it together. In this version, I wanted to have a clear cockpit dome area. So rather than 3D printing a dome, which is never 100% clear, I'm just using a dome. So this one isn't 100% 3D printed, but it could be. You can print that in clear and do whatever. Also, I'm using rubber O-rings for traction. They can be 3D printed. This one, for example, is 3D printed in TPU. But it's kind of silly to spend the time and money to print uh, the traction tires in TPU when you can buy rubber O-rings so cheap. I can drive to town and back and uh, get the O-rings before they would be done printing. So it didn't really make a lot of sense. So the inspiration, other than uh, wanting an all 3D printed mechanical wind-up robot, really stems clear back to the 1960s when this mechanical spark robot came out. And it has the paddle feet and it had a sparking mechanism to control its speed of the un unwinding of the motor. And let's see if we can get this guy wound up a little bit for you. See, they don't go a long, long ways, the old mechanical ones. So I wanted to make sure I could get some uh, distance out of mine. I'm going to wind this guy up. Is that in frame? I think it is. And i got to, of course, stop it before it goes off the edge of the table. What you have here is that you have the gun movement and the... Uh, arm and foot movement happen off of the uh, when the front wheels turn. Wind up a little bit there. So that was the uh, idea behind it. Uh, to start off with it, I've done quite a few of the wind up, uh, all 3D printed wind up cars and stuff and there's a, a builder online whose uh, name I can't pronounce but it's GZU M-A-L-T. I don't really know what that's supposed to sound like if you were to try to say it. But one of his creations was a wind-up bunny. And it was the wind-up bunny's uh, main gear and wind-up mechanism because it was designed vertically instead of horizontally like the cars. So I started with that. And this was the, uh, the first one. When I'm doing my prototypes, I don't really care what color plastic I print in because I'm just testing workings and stuff like that. So this was that, uh, that first one. And you can see it works but not great. So based off of off that, I went to this one in which I increased the uh, spring width about 20%. And you can see that made a big difference, had a lot more movement. And then from that, I decided, well, I can get even more traction if I change out his rear gear and change the gear ratio. So I put on a larger gear here, which actually slows down the drive wheel but gives him more, more drive. So at that point, I had a, had a pretty good moving toy. And all I wanted to refine then was to add details um, to the feet and try the clear cockpit head design. So as you can see, uh, here I added a lot of uh, detail to the feet. And I think I've got a cockpit sitting over here apart. So the top of the cap, I made a little Zothra type robot in a cockpit that it sits in, like he's uh, controlling everything, and designed it so that a standard 40 millimeter ornament sphere would uh, would fit right on top there. And so far my two favorite color combinations would be this orange with the gray body. This one turned out looking really, really well. 
and then the orange body with the gray that you've seen. They, uh, they both uh, work the same. Haven't got a long runway here, so it's kind of hard. So maybe if I drive it right towards the camera, how would that be? And we gave it about a half wind because it didn't want it to go shooting off the end of the table. I'll try to catch this thing. So, there you have it. And an all 3D printed wind up mechanical robot. I call Defender Robot.